The Seymour HMI has many features that put it above the competitors. One of these features is the Remote Access Mobile app. This app allows you to remotely view and or control the HMI from your mobile device as if you're local to the machine. This app is available for both iOS and Android devices. Once you have the app loaded onto your mobile device, you will need to do a few things on the Seymour side to allow this remote connection. With your Seymour project open, go to the panel network and then select Remote Access. Click here to enable the Remote Access feature and this is the TCP port number that you'll be using for this connection. There are three ways to connect remotely with the panel. Connection on the local network, becoming part of the local network by using a VPN service, or remotely connecting using port forwarding. If you're using a VPN or just connecting on the local LAN, then the IP address of the Seymour panel will be used for this connection. These two options are the more secure options for this type of connection. And if you're looking for a VPN solution, the Stridelinks VPN router is the perfect turnkey solution for industrial remote VPN connections. I have provided links to the Stridelinks platform in the description below. If you need to connect remotely and do not have VPN, and network security is not a concern, you can use port forwarding. Port forwarding allows the router to redirect a communication request from one address and port number to another, based upon the routing table that is set up in the router. In this example, you would need to set your router up to pass all communications that is coming in addressed to the public IP address of your router on this port number and have that to be forwarded to the IP address of the Seymour panel. If you are using port forwarding, you will need to place the public side IP address of your router here. Again, if you're using local or VPN, you will not need to place anything here. If possible, I would always advise using a VPN. It is a much more secure option that limits the risk to your network security. I'm gonna to continue to show this with the Stridelinks VPN option. You can set up three accounts for login. Each of the accounts have the following options. Each has permissions that you can select for full control of the HMI, view only, or view and screen change. You can have a username and password for each account, User restrictions, this is how many connections can be made to a single account at any given time. The Seymour allows for a maximum of 15 remote users connected at one time across all these three accounts. Disable tag, this tag, which can be any Boolean tag in the panel, when turned on will disable the remote access to this account. Notification tag, when this account is remotely connected, this tag will turn on, allowing the local user to have a visual indication that the remote user is connected. Now that we have this set up, send this project to your Seymour panel. Now to show the Remote Access Mobile app. First, I'm going to connect using my Stridelinks VPN. Then open up the Seymour app. Select Favorites. Select Add. Give this link a name. Set the port number from the remote access setup of the Seymour. Since I'm using a VPN, I will use the local IP address of the Seymour panel. If you're using port forwarding and have set up your port forwarding table in your router, place the public side IP address of your router here. Put in the username and password, and then select Done. And just click here, and now we can view and control the panel from wherever the job takes us. See more, making advanced HMIs easy to use. If you have any questions on this setup, please comment below or call into our free tech support. Select here to see more videos in the Seymour line, and make sure to select here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new products and automation solutions.